Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Garrett Harding and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to find and deal with transients inside of DaVinci Resolve. So if you're ready to expand your knowledge of this program and how to use it, let's jump into the video. But first, make sure you've subscribed because I have more than a hundred tutorials on this channel all about DaVinci Resolve. So if you're trying to learn it, you should probably sub. Alright, let's jump into the video. All right, so here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve. We're getting started on the edit page, but we'll move over to Fairlight very soon. As we zoom in on our audio clip here, we can see that we have these spikes. So the spikes that we see in this audio are clicks that I did with my tongue because this is an audition for an audiobook that I auditioned for. Um, these clicks are where I made a mistake, and these are also what are going to be very, very, very good examples of the transients that we're looking for today. So this is a transient. It's when there's a spike of sound kind of isolated by itself, even if it's inside of another sound. So depending on how micro you want it to get, this could be a transient right here, but generally it's going to be quite a bit bigger than that. So that's what we're looking for, and in this case, I do that after I make a mistake in my recording, so I'll know where I need to cut. So if we jump into Fairlight, and this is very short, so it'll be pretty easy, but um, on a longer project, if you have a lot of these, they can be hard to find, especially if your waveform is very shrunk down. And now that we're in Fairlight, this little eighth note down here, next to the rocket ship and the color page in this little menu down here, we'll see that all we're met with is our audio. And that's what Fairlight is for. So what we're gonna do is click on this little guy right here. You can see we have spike, audio, spike, audio. And now we're gonna click on that because this is our transient detector. Now, when you first click on that, probably nothing is going to happen. So you're gonna need to come down to your audio track that you want to detect the transients in and then go ahead and click on transient detection and it will put a little line on each and every transient detected inside of this clip. So if we zoom in right here, we can see that both of these lines have a transient detected as well as actually right here between them. Now that could be a mistake or there could be a weird sound happening there by itself that maybe we can't even hear with the speakers that we're listening on. Yeah, so right there, that is the sound of probably me opening my mouth before the click, and nobody wants that in their audiobook, so we're going to get rid of that whole thing. And this transient detector right there was able to help us find that, even though our waveform is not showing anything right there. There is a sound right there, a little spike. So once you've found these, you can either cut them up right here in the Fairlight page by putting your playhead somewhere and pressing Control B, and then putting it after your sound or wherever you need it and pressing Control B again. Now you can hit backspace to delete this or hit delete to ripple delete this. Now, if you wanna retain your spacing and you just don't wanna delete that clip, you can go ahead and since this is being treated now as its own clip because it's cut separate from everything else, we can go ahead and take the volume on that and actually reduce it. You don't even have to get rid of it completely if you don't want to. So right there, it's severely reduced. The space is still there, but the actual sound itself is gone. So that is the gist of using the transient detector inside of Fairlight inside of Resolve. It's a pretty cool tool and especially for stuff like this where you have sneaky transients, it's going to be very handy in getting rid of all those extra sounds that you don't want in your final recording. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you made it this far, I'm going to remind you again to subscribe because it does help the channel out. And like I said earlier, I have a ton of tutorials on the channel and there will be a ton more in the future. So once again, my name is Garrett Harding and I will see you on Thursday.